Welcome to The Circuit. This week on The Circuit, we're diving into how engineers are helping to solve crimes. Join me for these intriguing and fascinating cases. NASA's rovers have been successful in finding signs of life on other planets, but it also helped solve a cold case murder 20 years later. In 1991, Don Sanchez's murder was dismissed when investigators could not find her body, the car, or the gun used in the crime. Several years later, someone reported a dismantled car in an abandoned junkyard. A team of engineers from NASA, USGS, and Carnegie Mellon Innovations Lab used a Sinsetta Max 5.0 rover to scour through all the metal and find a card that matched the evidence from the crime scene. In 2009, the suspect pleaded no contest to the charges. He was charged with manslaughter and sentenced to six years in prison. Last November, the deadly stabbings of four college students shocked the University of Idaho and the nation. For weeks, the police found nothing. Traces of DNA at the scene matched no one in the FBI's massive DNA database of past offenders. But as the commercial goes, everyone has a DNA story to share. Something that just happens in the movies, I guess. More than 40 million Americans have bought inexpensive DNA tests online, spit in a tube, and sent those kits to places like 23andMe and Ancestry.com. It's called genetic genealogy and it's also helped solve between 500 and 1,000 cases of violent crimes in the last five years, including California's Golden State Killer. Using genetic genealogy, Brian Koberger, a 28-year-old criminology graduate student at Washington State University, was arrested for the murders. Former FBI agent David J. Icove has been using AI since the 80s to match and aggregate data to solve cases like the Unabomber. We saw more cases just by the fact that detectives had identified uh, uh, crimes. So we were able to put those mosaics together using AI. ICOV's system analyzed the interviews and the suspect's letters that connected Ted Kaczynski to the bombings. Now the question is, could algorithms help detect serial killers? Tried to analyze the data sets to see some of the same algorithms that we've been able to develop, AI algorithms, and they were unsuccessful. And uh, so this is a, uh, a challenge uh, to look at uh, the unsolved homicides in this country. The number of homicides being solved has dropped from 70% to almost 50% since the 1980s. The Murder Accountability Project, aka MAP, is a nonprofit that's mapping out FBI crime data to more than 220,000 unsolved homicides nationwide and making their software and data available publicly. Will you be the next engineer to crack the code? Engineers are also using virtual reality to look at crimes in a new way. Shots were fired from inside. They then came outside. Using 3D scanning technology, investigators can draw out realistic crime scenes. These visualizations have been used to create 3D reconstructions of moments like the 2014 police shooting of 12-year-old Tamir Rice. I don't need to know all the facts of what happened because I'm documenting the entire thing. So if we find out something different later, we already have all that documentation and nothing was missed. So it's a, a diagram in a uh, like a virtual 3D world. This technology was used in cases like the shooting of a man inside an underground bunker in Longview, Texas. The final product is similar to Google Street View. You can walk through the street and even zoom in on things. For a car crash, the scanner can do a crash analysis and estimate how fast they were going based on the damage, while also manufacturing specs on the vehicle. What if there was a software similar to Google Search that authorities could use to scour the dark web to search for possible human trafficking victims. And the idea was to um, have it be a domain specific engine so that a law enforcement would go into that engine, would go into that, um, that portal and would be able to search for human trafficking victims um, and would be able to find them pretty quickly once they got um, published on the web. DIG, which stands for Domain Specific Insight Graph, is a software that uses data to connect the dots, which investigators can use to prosecute the trafficker. The specialized software has triggered more than 300 investigations and helped secure 18 felony sex trafficking convictions, according to Wade Shin, program manager in DARPA's Information Innovation Office and Mimex program leader. It also helped free several victims 
victims. That's all the time we have this week. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you right here again at Circuit News TV.